Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another word problem dealing with quadratics or told the cross section of a tunnel is given by this formula, h equals negative one half x squared plus eight, where h is the height in meters and x represents the horizontal distance from the center of the tunnel. And so in part A, we have to sketch the graph and then comment on the valid x values. Part B, we have to state how tall and wide the tunnel is. And then in part C, we have to create another equation for the same tunnel if you place one end at the origin. So let's first start off with the graph of this tunnel. And the equation is h equals negative one half x squared plus eight. Now, if you notice this equation here, this quadratic, it's in the format ax squared plus c. And as we mentioned in previous videos, whenever you have a quadratic in this format, the vertex of this kind of quadratic is always gonna be at zero and the c value. So the vertex of this is at zero and eight. And the reason why is because this is actually already in vertex form. like that. So same thing here, we could rewrite this as negative one half x minus zero squared plus eight. So notice that the h value is zero and then the k value of that vertex form is c. So whenever you see a quadratic like this, ax squared plus c, so something x squared plus a constant, so that bx is not there, right? Because that's the regular standard form. If that term isn't there, it's just ax squared plus c, the vertex is always gonna be at zero and c. So we know the vertex of this parabola is gonna be at zero and eight. So we can start there. Uh, let's graph this actually. So the vertex is gonna be over here at zero and eight. And notice that the a value is negative, so we know that this parabola is gonna be opening down like this. So this is the tunnel over here. So the cars are going through the tunnel. And this is symmetric here. So the next thing we could find is what these x-intercepts are over here, right? Because this, y-axis, in this case it's the h-axis, and then this is the x-axis. Notice that the description makes sense as well for the x. x represents the horizontal distance from the center of the tunnel. This should be a little bit more symmetric, so let me... Anyway, you get what I'm saying. So the x value represents the horizontal distance from the center. Notice that this is the center of the bridge, so if we go like over here, let's say, let's say we go one meter. This, this one here, this x value of one represents one meter away from the center, which is right here. Or negative one would be the same thing. One meter away from the center to the left. Or if we have an x value of two, it represents two meters away from the center, et cetera, et cetera. So with this graph, notice that the graph makes sense with the description. Sometimes this x value, actually that's gonna happen in part C, represents the distance from one of the ends of the tunnel. So in part C, we're actually gonna make, we're gonna take this parabola and shift it so that this point is at the origin. So then the x value is gonna represent something else. But in this particular case, x represents the horizontal distance from the center. So let's find these values over here, right? This represents the ground or the highway or whatever where the cars are going through. So let's find these points here. How can we find them? Well, notice at those points, the h value is zero. So we would solve um, a quadratic equation over here. Now, because there's no bx value here, a couple of different ways to solve it, sort of the non um, fundamental way, quote unquote, is to just solve for the x directly so we can bring this over, divide both sides by a half, and then we'll have x squared is equal to 16. 
So x would equal the square root of 16, so x would be plus or minus 4. So this point here represents the negative 4. This point here represents the positive 4. So that's one way to solve for it because there was no bx value there, so you don't have to go through the factoring. But if your teacher does require you to show the factoring process, we would take out the negative 1 half first, and we'd end up with x squared uh, minus 16 like that because if we take out the negative a half, this divided by negative a half is just x squared, and then eight divided by negative one half is like, uh, it's like eight over one times negative two over one, right? We flip this fraction, which would give us negative 16. So that's how we get that right there. And then this is a difference of squares, which factors into x minus four, x plus four, and so we could get our two x-intercepts. We find out when does x minus four equals zero? That happens when x is four. When does x plus four equals zero? That happens when x is negative four. Okay, so this is the more proper way to get these intercepts here. So this intercepts that negative four and zero, this is that four and zero. And so we actually have enough information at this point to answer the rest of part A and part B as well. So part A, they were asking for the valid x values. And notice that this parabola, if it's not associated with a word problem, so if we're just looking at the abstract parabola, that's gonna keep going down forever, right? But it wouldn't make sense in this case because this is the ground, so tunnel's not going to go through the ground. So the x values, the valid x values, are from negative 4 to positive 4. So we'd have negative 4. x can be between negative 4 and positive 4. Okay, this is also called, some of you may go through this, some of you may not. It's going to be covered more in detail in grade 11, but your teacher may uh, instead of saying the valid x values, ask for the domain, which is the same thing. And basically, the way that the domain would work here is just specific notation. Again, if your teacher's not going through this, you could just ignore this part, but in case they are, um, it's basically x can be anything, any real number, as long as x is between negative 4 and positive 4. So this is how you're going to do it in grade 11. Okay, so that's the valid x values. If they ask for the valid h values, it would be from 0 to 8, because this is the maximum point. That's the vertex right there. But they didn't ask for that. They just asked for the valid x values. Okay, and then uh, we can see, just from the diagram, how wide is the bridge? How tall is the bridge? Well, the bridge is 8 meters wide, right, from negative 4 to positive 4. Uh, and then it is also 8 meters high, right, from 0 to 8. So it's actually the same width and height, right? That's not always going to happen, but in this case, they're, uh, they're both the same, right? So it's 8 meters wide, 8 meters tall. Now, in Part C, what they're asking for is to come up with an equation if instead we put one of the ends at the origin. So what, let's take this uh, parabola and shift it. So this is still gonna be h, but we're just gonna shift the parabola so that one of the ends is over here. You could put this end at the origin, it didn't specify which end, but uh, usually you're gonna see the left end be at the origin. So that's where I'm going to put it. So if we shift this, this is going to be at 0 and 0 now. Where is this point going to be? Well, no, remember the distance is 8 here, right? From negative 4 to positive 4. So from 0 to 8, it's going to be, this point here is going to be 8 and 0 like that. And then where's the vertex going to be? Well, we know the x value of the vertex is in between the intercepts. So 0 plus 8 divided by 2, which would be at 4. And then the height didn't change, right? We're just shifting this to the right. And so the height would be 8. So the vertex is at 4 and 8. Now, basically what we did was we took this graph and shifted it by 4 units. So the negative 4 became a 0, 
the positive four became an eight. And then this zero, right? The Y values weren't affected, only the X values, you're just adding four. So that's where we get that four and eight right there. And so another thing actually I wanna mention before getting the equation, the equation is gonna be easy because we've done tons of um, examples like this. But one thing I wanna talk about is what the X value represents. The X value now represents the horizontal distance from the end of the bridge. So not from the middle of the bridge, like over here, but from the end of the bridge. So if we have like two over here, that represents two horizontal meters from this end of the bridge right there. Okay, so that what the X value represents changes when you change the graph. Okay, and uh, getting the equation is pretty simple. We actually can do it uh, in two different ways. We can do it with the vertex form or we could do it with the factor form because we have both intercepts. I'm gonna just do it with the factored form. So remember, factored form is this. And so from here, we could tell this one of the intercepts is zero, so we'll have x minus zero, so it's just gonna be an x by itself. This is gonna be x, this factor is gonna be x minus eight. That's how we get an x-intercept of positive eight. And sorry, we're not dealing with y, we're dealing with h. And then what we could do to solve for this a value, plug in this point, a point other than the intercepts, into this equation, so h is eight, x is four, to solve, for the a value. Negative four, eight, this would be negative 16. Divide both sides by negative 16, so the a value is negative one over two. Okay, so this here would be negative one over two like that. And then if you wanna expand it, um, you can do that if you want as well. They may give the answer in expanded form. This would be negative a half times negative eight is positive four, and then we got the x like that. So this, either this or this would represent the equation of this parabola. You can also put in vertex form if you want, so let's do that while we're at it. Um, so the vertex is at four and eight, so the h is four, the k is eight. So we'll have x minus four squared uh, plus eight like that. And then we can plug in either this point or this point to solve for the a value. I'll plug in the origin. So we'll have zero a, the x is zero plus eight. This would end up being, bring the eight over negative eight. This would end up being 16, 16 a. A is again negative one over two. So we could put that right here okay so that would be the um the vertex form for this same problem so factored form standard form vertex form either of those if you took those graphed it in desmos you'd end up with um this parabola over here the valid x values also change they would be from zero to eight instead of from negative four to positive four like they were for that scenario right there and then also, if you took this and expanded it, you would get that same standard form. That's another way to check that all of these are the same. Expanding everything and making sure you have the same standard form. Right, so just be on the lookout for these kinds of bridge questions. Uh, a lot of times, you'll have the, um, the vertex at the, or on the h-axis, Okay, then it's gonna be this kind of scenario. And then a lot of times you'll have one of the ends of the bridge at the origin.